There's a lot of talk about magnetic shielding and how to reduce the range of your incoming magnets so that the flux is not going too far to the right or too far to the left, but you want it focused. You want to focus the flux so it just deals with the magnet that it's it's uh, at right now in, in a, as the rotor goes past the stator. As in my several of my configurations, you always got a magnet going around and around and around, and it's interfering with what's behind it, and it's interfering with what's ahead of it. So I figured, well, what if I encased it in metal? Then I could concentrate the flux lines and pinpoint it. That's what I thought would be a great idea. What you're seeing right here is two magnets, one's in a metal sleeve. They are in repulsion. So I've narrowed down the range at which the magnet on the rotor, this big guy here, will be coming along and where it sees. So if it's in repel mode, as you can see, there's still a quite a bit of attraction right there to attract it in. And right here, it would push out. Mind you, there is a little traction on the opposite side. So I thought I would be strengthening the magnet because I know if you add steel on the back of a magnet, all the flux goes forward because of the higher density of the, of, of the steel at the back. So I thought maybe wrapping it around the sides would help. What I thought was wrong. In actuality, what it does is it's, it's, it's choking out the magnetic flux of the magnet. It's, it's about half as strong as it would be because the waves are not going out of the out of the mouth and into the ass out of the mouth and into the ass so to speak so therefore it does have its purposes but you're dramatically uh decreasing the strength of your magnet and there are times where you want more strength on one side and less on the other so what do you do well i've come up with a solution give me a second hopefully these won't crash into each other I've cut the sleeve in two. So at least I'm get, gaining some of that back on the one side. The flux is fleet, free to travel from the one end to the other end. So that's my latest little thing I wanted to show you. Now, why are these angled? Well, that's for a new configuration I'm coming up with. All my other configurations were based upon small to big, small to big, small to big around the stator. But what if the stator was static, all magnets being the same? And then on the rotor, I would have one, one of these here. Let me move this out of the way so they don't suck together. Say this whole circle right here, and this was much bigger, was my um, stator. And my rotor here, it would attract in on the front and push out on the back. And repel but since it's shaped like this it would still be attracted in and then it would be pushing here so it would always be pushing this way and always be attracting this way so I would have one here and then one down here and it'd be like those firecrackers that you stuck on the hydro poles when you were a kid where they, they would just, you know, I think they're called spinners. And they go, woo, because one end is pushing all the time. Well, in this case, one end is pushing and one end is pulling all the time, times two around a static configuration. So therefore, it's no longer going from a weak zone to a strong zone, but rather uh, constantly just, uh, you know, moving continuously, hopefully. I don't know. So that's why I carved that out, and I'm hoping to take advantage of that magnetic shielding idea that I came up with. So anyways, that's it for guys. That's it for now, guys. Thanks.